Hello and welcome. Today, let's explore the incredible World Heritage Sites in Sri Lanka designated by UNESCO. UNESCO, which stands for the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, recognizes and protects places of outstanding uni universal value to our cultural and natural heritage. Um, understanding cultural heritage. Cultural heritage in Sri Lanka includes monuments like architectural wonders, monumental sculptures, and historic inscriptions. There are also groups of buildings and sites such as archaeological wonders that hold significant historical importance. Understanding natural heritage. On the other hand, natural heritage consists of physical and biological formations, geological wonders, and physiographical formations. This also includes habitats crucial for the survival of threatened species of animals and plants. These natural sites are important for scientific study, conservation, and their sheer natural beauty as Sri Lanka's UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Sri Lanka, a proud signatory to the UNESCO World Heritage Convention since June 6, 1980, boasts eight incredible sites as of 2022. The first three sites, the ancient city of Palanerua, the ancient city of Sigiriya, and the sacred city of Enyoradapura, were listed in 1982. Uh, these are uh, remarkable cultural heritage sites. Most recent addition, uh, the Central Highlands of Sri Lanka, was listed in 2010. This, along with the Sinharaja Forest Reserve, are natural sites showcasing the breathtaking beauty of Sri Lanka's landscapes. Oh. <laughs> in addition to existing sites, Sri Lanka has three more on its tentative list. These are sites that might be nominated for world heritage status in the future, showcasing the country's commitment to preserving its rich cultural and natural heritage. Anticipation in UNS. Sri Lanka has not only contributed by nominating these incredible sites, but has also served as a member of the World Heritage Committee underlining its dedication to the global cause of preserving our shared heritage. So whether you're interested in exploring ancient cities, marveling at architectural wonders, or immersing yourself in the beauty of natural landscapes, Sri Lanka's UNESCO World Heritage Sites offer a journey through time and nature that you won't want to miss. Um, enjoy your exploration. Anywhere was founded in the 14th century and served as the capital of the kingdom of that name from 1592 to 1815 when the British entered it. It remains the religious Buddhist capital and pilgrimage center of Sri Lanka. Following the ancient tradition of enshrinement of the relic when the capital is changed, the Bada Tooth is enshrined in the Tooth Palace and the current structure dates back to the mid 18th century. Other monuments include the Royal Palace and several Buddhist temples. After the destruction of Anirahapura by the Kola dynasty, Palanarua became the capital of the titular kingdom under Vijayabahuai. Several Hindu temples and bronze sculptures exist from that period. Airy city saw its golden age under Parikramabahuai in the 12th century when many Buddhist monuments and temples were built, including the Vadadaya where the Buddhist tooth was enshrined. It declined in the 13th century. E, uh, the cave ashram is the largest and best preserved Buddhist complex in Sri Lanka and has been inhabited by the Buddha. It consists of five shrines built in natural caves. The shrine has gone through a series of renovations and the current form dates back to the 18th century. He contain excellent examples of religious art, including statues and wall paintings in the style of the Kandy School of Art. It is an important place of pilgrimage. Its monks from the 3rd century BC, Anuradhapura was the first capital of Sri Lanka and a Buddhist spiritual center. It was in BC, established in the 4th century. It was attacked by the Tamos in the 2nd century BC and sacked by the Pandyas in the 9th century Ad. Jerusalem monuments were later restored, but in 993, the Kola Emperor Rajaraja I destroyed the city and moved the capital to Palanerua. In the following centuries, it was covered by forest. Among the monuments that remain today are the Avyagiri Vihara and the Ruanvalisai Stupa, as well as the Jaya Sri Maha Bodhi, a tree that grew out of a cut from the Bodhi where the Buddha is said to have attained enlightenment. E, uh, the Buddhist monastery was founded in the second century BC on the slopes of Rajagala Hill. It remained active until the end of the Anuradhapura period in the early 11th century and was then abandoned. About 500 monks can live there. Remains of the archaeological site include stupas, temples, residential buildings, and cave dwellings, paintings, and inscriptions from the early period of the monastery have been preserved. 
Assyria was the short-lived capital of King Cassiapa, who ruled between 477 and 495 after killing his father, King Dadusina. The city is built on and around the Line Rock A180 MF590 FT granite volcanic plug. After Cassiapa was defeated by his brother Mogulani I, the site was returned to the Buddhist monks who had previously resided in grottos in the area. Today, the site is in ruins and parts of fortifications and buildings, as well as frescoes representing female figures have been preserved. The style of these frescoes influenced the following centuries. 